So hello, welcome back to another video. Um, this afternoon I've come out to do a bit of bass fishing with the lures. Um, I've not been out much at all lately on the bass. I had two sessions about a week and a half, two weeks ago, within the space of two or three days. Both of those occasions were blanks, um, and since then I haven't gone. I've done a little bit of fishing, but mostly, uh, mostly just for mackerel, playing about um, with some mackerel and some little, little metals. So I've come out today to try for a bass. Now the conditions aren't great um, as far as bass fishing goes, but middle of the day, it's bright sunshine. It was quite cloudy and overcast earlier, but it's really brightened up lately. Um, and the water is flat calm, absolutely flat calm. So uh, yeah, not ideal conditions. Um, gonna be quite tough today. Weather will catch is one thing, but I'm certainly gonna try. Um, I'm actually gonna be fishing subsurface lure to start with, which is one of the Samson Shads, but I've got a new color, um, the all black color, which I received a couple of weeks ago and I've, I'm yet to use. So I'm gonna throw that out, but I'll be chopping and changing today with the lures. Um, I might even chuck some soft plastics afterwards. Um, probably some surface lures as well, really anything. We'll just see what works and uh, if we can entice anything. So just got here, just literally set my rod up. So um, I'm gonna give it a few casts and hopefully we'll see a fish today. This is the uh, shad I'm going to be throwing out. This is the, I think this is the 30 gram version in all black. So these Samson shads I've caught loads of bass on. They're absolutely brilliant, but I'm yet to use this color. So we'll give this a whirl. You can probably see it in the distance there. You've got two cruise ships in today. Let's get that out there. Just let it sit a little bit. Wind in the slack. And we'll just start slowly working it in. Just giving it a few twitches as we're coming in. Pausing it. And just switch up the retrieve really. And give it a nice continuous retrieve with a few little taps. And they work really well under the water, these lures. Now I was fairly confident earlier on I've been at work this morning and the conditions were looking fairly good but as soon as I left work that sun came out it's got super bright now really not ideal but we're gonna give it a go anyway you really never know all it takes is one fish to make a session so we shall see I can see right down there on the edge of that weed there's silver flashes of fish. Now, I don't know what they are. They look quite small, could be green. I just pulled the lure over it to see if I could uh, entice something. I can see them swimming around. It could be mullet, but they look too small to be mullet. Weird. It just sat right there. Just had a miss hit. You bugger. That was definitely a bass as well. Oh, it's been absolutely dead. Absolutely dead. And so I've moved over to this reef. Had to hop a pretty, pretty uh, long gully to get onto it. And I've had about 10 casts. And that was the first indication of any fish. Come up, took a swirl at it, connected slightly, but then missed it. There's a lot of tide run that comes through here. So it's a good area to, to target. That was kind of like a, 
not a fully committed hit. Oh man, that's the closest I've got so far. Pretty sure I would have spooked that fish though. It would have felt the hooks for sure. Last chance to save the blank. Go for a diver. Now if the zonk doesn't attract the fish, nothing will. Come on. Good fish as well. Crack and take that. That's with the third cast, with the zonk. It's got to be a bass, surely. Yeah, it is. You can see it in the water. That's a nice fish, that. Oh, man. Got there in the end. How the hell are we going to get this up? I don't know how well this is hooked. Oh. You can see him down there. Come on. Oh, he's only just hooked. That's a lovely fish. Whee hey So I've literally hardly been filming anything because it's been absolutely dead. Now, I've mostly been fishing top water lures, just put a diving lure on, third cast, bang. Hook nicely. We've got those single hooks on there. On the back hook there. That's a lively fish there, proper, proper fight. There we go, lovely fish that. Give that about 50, 50 centimeter. I'm actually gonna keep this one because someone was asking me for a bass uh, at work yesterday. So with all the fish I've put back, I'm gonna be keeping this one today. So I'll give it a knock on the head, put it out of its misery. That's a great fish, lovely stuff. So I think I said before that cast, if the zonk won't catch him, nothing will. And that's the exact reason for it. Mega bass zonk. Well, that was third cat. I had a really, really, really subtle hit before that fish took. It's in a really subtle hit. I thought it was gonna be like a little rast, just pick it, uh, you know, sort of pecking at it. That's a good sign. Had that swirl on the surface lure. And then just a few casts later with the diver hooked into that fish. So just maybe there'll be a couple more around. A really feisty fish that. Puts up a proper, proper little scrap in the tide here. And as I said, I am keeping that one. Someone was asking me for a bass and uh, they've been asking me for ages, so I'll oblige this time. If I do get any more, I won't be keeping them. Well, I am happy about that, really happy. I haven't done a lot of bass fishing at all lately. And to say it was absolutely dead, you know when you get the vibe of just, you know, these conditions are not working whatsoever. Be lucky to catch any fish, let alone a bass. It just goes to show, find a bit of tide and you're always in with a shout. Doesn't always pan out, but... Wow, look at that. Right down there, huge, huge ball of sand eels. Whoa, just jumped out the water. That's why they'll be bass in here. Oh, yeah, I'm on again. Bang. See, that's why they'll be bass in here. Sand eels are about. Bass are about. This is small, this one. Really small. Might actually be able to lift this one up. Whoa! There we go. Oh, the hook's just popped off. Just a little bambino there. So, bass number two of the session. Just seen a ton of sand eels in there. Loads and loads of them. We'll get this guy back, see if we can find another fish. Yeah, all those sand eels were right down here, right in front of me there. There was thousands of them. Off he goes. Just 
try a cast over there. A bit shallower over there is a reef. So it won't be exposed on a tide like this, but the water rushes over it and causes like big eddies in the water. I've had some really nice takes over that side before. That's actually the first time this year that I've, uh, I've seen sand eels in that amount of numbers in the water. Now even though the mackerel and that are coming shore, even when I've been doing a bit of mackerel fishing, I've still not seen any sand eels. That's the first time I've seen them that close in. So that's a really good sign for the, the summer coming up. That's when you know the fish, all the different species are, are moving in. Where the bait is, the fish will be. Oh, that was another hit. Zonk worked in white. I don't see why this wouldn't. And then if I happen to catch another fish, I'll switch over to the black one. Now I keep seeing those sand eels. If I have time to stick a camera in the water, I'll try and film them. But right now, focusing on the uh, the bass front. I'll just wind that slack in on this and then work that lure in. Now we'll soon find out if the bass is still around. Now I've been chopping and changing lures because just because sometimes I like to do that I just like to see what you can catch on and a lot of the time I will stick to the same lure but every now and then I just like to chop and change and I've actually got a load of new lures which I really just haven't had time to use lately so I've just uh, clipped a few of those on had like 10 casts I won't put all of that in this video because obviously nothing's happened. But with there being sand eels around, I've just put this little western um, sand eel limitation on. I think it's 22 gram. Because in theory, you would have thought if there's big shoals of sand eels like that, that's going to be what the, what the fish are feeding on. So if the fish are still here, I'd be fairly confident they're going to nail a lure like this. But you can get very short windows where you see a bit of action and then uh, they just move off. This whole spot is all reef and you've got different currents that run all around them. So the fish are always going to be on the move. It's at certain points of the tide that you find they'll hold in this bit for a sort of, can be anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. But it's usually never longer than that. It's usually uh, a short window, an hour would be a long time. So I've known it before where I've been in here, caught a few fish, and then it's just gone absolutely dead. But you can see them hitting the surface way beyond that reef in front of me. So far, far out of casting distance. But it just goes to show they will move around. That's not to say you won't get the odd one lingering about in here or coming back in to have a little mooch when the tide changes the fish activity will change as well so it's always worth a shout So that's going to do it for me today. Short and sweet session. Now, uh, yeah, I didn't really film too much today because at the start of this, um, there was absolutely nothing happening. It was, it was dead. As I said, you get very short windows here in certain areas. Um, now, if you've got the time and the patience, which I don't have either of those two things today, you can scan around, work with the tide. When the tide changes, just move around, find the fish again. They'll stick around, you just got to find them. Sometimes they go a bit further offshore, but a lot of times they will stay stay inshore, but they just move about. Um, like I said, there's loads of current around here, loads of um, 
loads of tidal movement so the fish can be on the move quite quite rapidly but to see the conditions of flat calm it's bright sunshine i mean it's a lovely day today um to say that the conditions are like this i'm really happy to catch those two fish so yeah chopping and changing between a few lures can help as well sometimes i mean for me it didn't today both those fish were caught on the zonk but um if i hadn't changed for that and kept to the top water I may have not caught anything at all. So it was only getting that indication from that first swirl I had when that bass came up and hit the lure that I thought to myself, right, there's fish here. So what are they gonna take? You know, are they on the feed? Just chop and change between lures, different retrieves, different speeds, see what works. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, track back up the steps now, back to the car. It's been a fun little session. I've missed the bass fishing on the lures, um, to be completely honest. As I said, the last couple of times I went out, it was it was a well I blanked both times. Um, one of them I took a heavier rod out, the new Samson rod I've got, which I'll be doing a video on at some point. Um, hopefully, get a few fish on that and uh, yeah, talk you through that rod. But both those occasions were blanks, so um, it's nice to hook into a fish or two again. I might even go out tomorrow now and uh, try somewhere early morning. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one.